This video will explore some uh, real life examples of trying to use the product formula. So we'll look at a sports team on a winning streak, example 10. We'll look at divorce probabilities and uh, the lottery parable. So if we look at example 10, um, so sometimes sports fans get annoyed with a good team that they're they're not winning all the games in a row. But let's see how difficult just just how difficult this is. So um we've got these five events here, these five games, and let's say these are the probabilities of the Seahawks winning each game. So they're most likely going to win each game one by uh, you know on their own. But what's the probability that they win all the games in a row. Okay, so press pause and figure that out. Now we're going to assume that these are independent events, which in real life they're not exactly because if a team loses a game, sometimes um, that can affect them in a bad way and they, they, they start fighting each other and then they have more chance of losing the next game. Or if they lose a game, they could really come together and work hard and make sure they win the next game. So these events are not independent, but we're just going to assume they are. Um, just for the sake of being able to use the product formula, because they I mean, they're they're kind of it. I mean, they're they're close to being independent. They're not that far off. You, teams usually play um, about close enough to the same level each game. So press pause and get the answer to this. Okay. So I'll do it now. So using the product formula, we simply multiply the um, probability of winning each game. So eighty-eight percent. Oops. Uh, times 70% times 85% times 90% times 78% so each game they're, they're, they're favored very heavy favorites to win each game individually but even at that to win every single game all in a row chances of that are, are lower than you might you might like 0 0.88 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.85 times 0 0.9 whoops uh, times 0 0.78 so we get 0 0.367 about 37% uh, and those are games where they're heavily favored right so those five games in a row they're heavy favorites yet it's likely that they're going to lose one of them anyway, at least one. They're not, most likely they won't win them all in a row, right? So um, here's another try trying to, to to explore some real life examples rather than just tossing coins and rolling dice all the time. So you might hear, you know, interesting statistics like divorce rates. So so I don't know if this is exactly right, but but for what I what I found. It, the divorce rate overall on average is about 40%. Of course, this rate like varies enormously depending on uh, whether your <coughs> income is high or low, your race, your age, your religion, how many kids you have, when you had the children, when you got married, and all that type of thing, right? So we'll just take 40% on, on face value. And let's say you've got two siblings and one close friend. They're all married. So you've got three separate marriages. Now, what's the probability that all three marriages will stay together? right so press pause and get the answer and we're just gonna I, I mean like you, you can dig in and 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 get different um, likelihoods depending on the particular marriage but just for fun we'll just we'll just say they all have the same probability as as, uh, as the average in the country right so press pause and figure this out okay I'll do it now so probably they all stay together Sorry, that should be part A and this part B. So part A, they all stay together. Um, the kind of trick there is to say, look, there's a 60% chance of staying, right? 60% chance of staying. Now they all need to say, so that's 60% times 60% times 60%, right? Or 0 0.6 times itself three times. Just to be fancy, I'll do this, 0 0.6 to the power of 3, okay, on the calculator. So 0 0.216, um, and we'll call that about 22%, uh, right? 
So on average, if you pick three random marriages in the country, um, 22% chance that all three will stay together. So so li most likely, you know, they won't all three stay together. Something, well, at least one will, one will split up, right? So what's the probability that they will all get divorced? So press pause and figure this one out. The probability they all get divorced. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. So, um, the f it's the forty percent chance of divorce, right? So that's the the one we use. So we're going to go forty percent, which is zero point four, right? Times it's uh, times forty percent for the next marriage and times forty percent for the next one, right? And just to be fancy, I'll go zero point four to the power of three, right? Oops, 0 0.4 to the power of 3, 0.064, okay? So that's, I'll round that to the nearest percentage, 6.4. I mean, we're talking about marriages here. You certainly don't need to be uh, accurate, um, but we're talking 6%. So all three getting divorced, low, low probability. You know, li likely at least you know some of them are going to stay, right? Or at least one, right? So low probability they'll all divorce, and uh, low probability they'll all stay, but even lower that they'll all divorce, right? So, and um, and, and if, if we have time at, at some point in the course, it'd be fun to go through the the Gutman Institute at University of Washington did extensive research on marriage, and they've improved marriages for many couples based on improving something you can control, which is your interaction with your spouse. And they have amazing stats on this. Um, they can predict um, just by watching a couple, a couple interact for, talk to each other for uh, a short amount of time, maybe 15 minutes or so, they can predict um, very to like 94% accuracy whether or not they'll stay together so uh, pretty interesting stuff all right